also the connections, the associations, the memories, the ideas. So infinite ideas and infinite capacity. Which is, isn't that cool? I just love this sort of stuff. All right, the next one, my fifth secret is the ability to multitask, boys. <laughs> 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 Getting that gestalt being organized and being focused. Um, who has uh, a palm? Who uses a palm to get themselves organized and everything? Anyone use a palm? Yeah. I, I've had real problems with my, my palm. It's just not been working very well. The, the data seems to get erased. <laughs> it's just, I, I'm not sure. I have to um, find another, another solution. So I had real troubles getting my brain organized because it wasn't until I was 21 that I found out I was dyslexic. Because having left school at 15 and been to about 20 odd schools all around Australia, I had real troubles learning. At 21, I found out I was dyslex dyslexic. And uh, so I thought, oh, okay, now I understand why my brain does weird things. Makes it much easier. Now, what the challenge is, is that we're taught to think. We're taught to plan. We're taught to be creative. We're taught to use this amazing net top computer we have with a blue pen and blue line paper. Perfectly logical, perfectly acceptable in its time, but it's like trying to use this in today's world. Now, I do know some people who still have these. <laughs> and, but whose memory for phone numbers has completely gone out the window yeah. since the mobile phones come in and you just, yeah, rather than that old muscle memory or the little black book we used to have. Imagine now trying to work to communicate to do all the things we did with this type of technology. So we need to do better or new technology. And that's why my mission is to help everyone upgrade their neck top computer. You have this most amazing biocomputer. When was the last time you gave it some new software? Or well, wouldn't you like to find the defrag button at the back of the brain? Yeah. Or, some of that crap? or is that just me? Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is do something a little bit different. The latest thinking technology and the latest thinking tool, or the Swiss army knife of your brain, is what we call a mind map. Now mind map's like an inside cover, cover of the street directory. It's the big picture, the overview. You know where to go to for more information if you want to. So we can summarize a whole book on one page. You can memorize your speech, your presentation, all sorts of things with a mind map. And I'm, I'm like Rick, as soon as I saw a mind map, I thought, hey, this is really cool. I quit my job in a large corporate and uh, now I've traveled the world teaching other people how to mind map, how to switch on their brains. I was with the uh, Brisbane Adventist College yesterday teaching these kids study skills using mind maps, speed reading, and the memory techniques. And it's just great to be able to see their brains just light up and know that they can easily have a better memory. Very, very simple. Okay, my next um, secret is the ability to make connections and associations. The ability to connect with people, to make a link. Remember when you want to remember someone's name, you make a link, like with Julie here, you know. What's another famous Julie? I was thinking Julie, Julia Roberts, because she's got that gorgeous face. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry, my the, These sorts of links, connections, or associations help us with memories. It also helps with creativity. Because one of the things is, if you want, see an advert or see an idea, you sort of say, oh, that's an interesting idea. What's the concept behind that idea and how can I extract that concept and you know, do it something else in my business or in the work that we're doing? So understanding connections or associations and how this whole thing works is really, really valuable. So the next one starts with P. The next one starts with P, does it? We'll see. Oh, it does. <laughs> wow. Does anyone recognize this guy? Here. Al Gore, oh, yeah. my, my girlfriend's an office organizer and she freaks every time she sees this photo. But uh, all the things that Al Gore's got on his plate, it's amazing. But do you know that he just started up an ethical investment company with his best friend, David Blood? Yes, the two principals of the company are Blood and Gore. <laughs> it's true, I didn't make it up. But how easy is that to remember because of that connection, that association that you make? Okay. But Al, he has 
been persistent for 25 years <coughs> with this whole area of environmentalism. And that's the prime core of leadership, of genius, is the ability of, to be persistent. And we are all persistent. Um, the interesting thing is look at the one thing that's above his head, the one page roadmap, the one page mind map to keep him organized. And what Al said, in, this was in Time magazine, he said that mind maps help him see the big picture, get everything organized. So rather than drowning all the detail, you've got that one page roadmap, that one page plan, just to come back to, whether you're studying at school or whether you're doing a business. June 98, Bill and I did a quick mind map of what our potential business would be. Um, so we, we, that was our guiding mind map for the whole 10 years or so as we were building the business. But we're talking about P for persistence, and I just, I don't know how you knew it was going to be a P. Um, we are all persistent, because when we were babies, you know when we are trying to learn to walk? We didn't sort of get up and fall over and go, bugger that, I'm not doing that again. How many times did we get up and try and try and try again? And, you know, you see a little baby learning to walk, what do you say to them? You can do it, you encourage it, yeah, you encourage them as much as possible, all that sort of thing. And what do we say to ourselves as we're learning something new? Can't do it, I'm no good, you know, I give up, I fail, I'm not really good at it. Yeah. So it's really interesting. One of my, um, in my job description, it is to be able to juggle three balls. And we teach juggling as a metaphor for learning. And it's really interesting it's people's perception of, of if I want to get them to juggle. You know, they just go, no, I don't, want to, I don't want to learn that. So we are all persistent. We want to be like babies, very curious and things like that. Okay, so we've had seven secrets. Let's see, let's do a quick review. So we had M for a mentor, I for imagination, using our imagination, N for networking, D for daydreaming, M for multitasking, A for association, P for persistence. So the next one has to be S for success. Woohoo! Use my maps for success. If you want the bare bones to success, a my map is a great way of doing it. I did a quick mind map for our other Rotary Club on how to organize a sausage sizzle. All the things you had to do, the equipment, the things you needed to organize, load it up on YouTube. And if you Google sausage sizzle, it's the first image that comes up. And Rotary Clubs now are using it all around the world to help them organize sausage sizzles. It's a single page roadmap. It's also environmentally friendly because you can just have a, a one page rather than lots and lots of pages. We set up an Interact Club and rather than a 50 page manual, I did a quick mind map of everything on the Interact Club. So it was our um, agenda, the things that we had to do, our checklist. And that. So that went to the school to help with the planning side of things. So if you want a Swiss Army knife for your brain, a mind map helps you take notes, get stuff into your head and make notes, get it out of your head. Um, and you know, there's all sorts of uses for mind maps. And actually this is a mind map of my talk. If I wanted just to have a one-page roadmap or a one-page summary of the presentation, I can do it. So you can see here uh, that having a mentor, helicopter view, it's one, a mentor that values learning, use your imagination, networking, make sure you add value, um, that you remember the information as you're going through, uh, the ability to daydream is important, the, the associations, the eureka moments, I didn't quite mention that, but I did talk about mental cushions. The ability to multitask is key, and then to associate, to link the creativity, the concept extraction. And so that would all be all I would need to give my presentation. So if the data projector goes, or you know, I've, I've got to remember the whole thing, that's just my roadmap for my presentation if I wanted to. So there are the Swiss Army knife for your brain. And uh, you know, I encourage you to learn more about your brain and how your brain works and use things like mind maps or some of the other memory techniques and tools and, and speed reading. Um, 